is 18 and my daughter's 23. As soon as I told them, I'm going to have to have my eyelid closed and wear an eye patch for two months, they both said the same thing. You've got to be a pirate mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the homework. I had had to have my lower eyelid removed because of skin cancer. Thought that it would be easier for kids to, to come in and see it as a fun thing rather than as a kind of a weird thing. Open up the treasure chest. Put it in the map. What's the treasure chest? I had never okay. done a thematic yeah. approach to teaching. I was just, well, like you, this is entirely opposite of my personality, <laughs> really and truly. The Below the deck would be better, we'll have to add that. Yeah. Oh, we could say, yeah. I, I definitely think that there was higher learning yeah. because they were so engaged, yeah. and when you have that high engagement level, um, really kids seem, seem to comprehend more, <laughs> they seem to be, um, putting more effort into everything they do. I know attendance was high, you know, like the, they didn't want to miss a day. Some students were asking when can they go into Mrs. Davis's class, you know, that didn't have her. Stop it now! When you come into um, teaching for the first time, you're hearing standards and a routine and everyone's going to do it this way. And uh, Nancy by far incorporates all the things that we have to do, <laughs> but there can still be that creative spin that veteran teachers like Nancy, teachers that have taught for more than even 10 years, that's how we used to teach, and students were very, very successful. Ready to follow my orders? My turn. Your word is, your word is pick. Everybody what word? Pick. 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 Ick. Pick. Pick. Write that word. I saw a girl who went from kind of feeling like, well, starting the mornings with, I don't want to get out of bed. I want to stay and cuddle with my doggies, to a little girl who was pretty excited about going to class. She went from kind of feeling like reading was a homework and a chore to all of a sudden she was like having adventures on a pirate ship and lots and lots of books ended up on the top of bunk. They began to tremble, everybody tremble. If I think about Miss Davis's approach and what she's doing and what I know about why it works, it, it has everything to do with the fact that play brings out the best in kids. and and. If you have a teacher who's being playful and exuberant and norming this kind of creative, imaginative approach to teaching, it's bound to spill over in the learning that happens. Hi, me mateys. Two hands on deck. Because play brings out the very best in every kid, and it conveys to kids, when we let them play, we convey to them that we care about them, that they matter, that they have choice and voice. Ultimately, play is the way we figure out who we are. Chest. Ah! Dealing with a pretty serious illness that, yeah, you know, <laughs> it's, you know, I'm still here and um, life is still good and there are good things to see and sometimes you do just kind of need to back off and this is humanity here and these are little kids and let's enjoy them being children and let them enjoy us at our best too. Do you, I'm curious, do you even know why she had a pirate costume on? I think it's because she loves pirates. Huh, that's neat. I think she loves pirates too.